Good morning. Hello there. I am in my backyard garden. I'm reading from the Bible. Today I'm reading from the book of Matthew, the Gospel according to Matthew. And I will read chapter number seven. Chapter number seven talks about a lot of different things. Um, it starts out talking about judging others and then it goes on to talking about profaning the holy ask search knock the golden rule the narrow gate a tree and its fruit concerning self-deception and then it finishes up talking about hearers and doers but before I get started, I do want to talk a little bit about what you see in the video today. And um, what you're looking at is a view of our herb spiral. And in the herb spiral, right now you can see Sample walking by in front of the camera. Okay, now she's gone on. Um, kind of in the foreground, you see a rosemary plant. And then off to the right, there's sage. And kind of to the left of the rosemary plant, maybe in front of that mushroom decoration, is lemon balm. And I'm so happy that the lemon balm survived the freeze. Um, we use lemon balm almost daily in the tea that we drink. We make holy basil tea and lemon balm is one of the herbs that I put in the tea. And then off kind of in the back, you can see chives. Um, chives are another thing that survived the freeze really well. And most of the green that you see in the middle is um, those are plants that we planted to have some winter color. They're mostly flowers. Um, they're cold hardy flowers so when it starts to get warm they'll wither away and then the herbs will kind of take over the herb spiral okay back to Bible reading today I'm reading from the book of Matthew the gospel according to Matthew and I will read chapter number seven the reading begins do not judge so that you may not be judged. For with the judgment you make, you will be judged. And the measure you give will be the measure you get. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, let me take the speck out of your eye while the log is in your own eye? You hypocrite. First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. Do not give what is holy to dogs, and do not throw your pearls before swine, or they will trample them underfoot and turn and maul you. Ask, and it will be given you. Search and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks receives, and everyone who searches finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for bread, will give a stone? Or if the child asks for a fish, will give a snake? If you then, if you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask him? In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you, for this is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide, and the road is easy that leads to destruction. And there are many who take it, 
For the gate is narrow and the road is hard that leads to life, and there are few who will find it. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from thistles? In the same way, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will know them by their fruits. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many deeds of power in your name? Then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Go away from me, you evildoers. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall, because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was its fall. Now, when Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were astounded at his teaching for he taught them as one having authority and not as their scribes. Here ends the reading of Matthew chapter 7, the, the Gospel according to Matthew.